Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. It is my time. It is Thursday. And this is our eBay momentum board, listing board, whatever you want to call it. Yesterday we did 30 items for $953 so far this week. We've done 58 for $14.96. Goal, 5K in two weeks and 200 listings at least. We're going to hit it. So there's no doubt we're going to hit it. I thought I would start out today's video uh, with, I picked out six what I'm thinking are like super fast questions. <laughs> we're filming this uh, starting at 1017. My goal is to answer all six questions by 1032. Let's see if I can do it. I'm, I'm usually a little bit too long winded. So let, let's go ahead and get started. First one. I, I did I did select some like shorter questions I do think first one from breath of home 6315 are you concerned about anything falling behind your drawer counter where you place your prepacked items before shipping every time I see you place a tiny item near the back side of your working counter I cringe guess I'm too bumbling to trust not losing something in a gap like that okay so uh, they're talking about this bench right here and this gap right here which is really big and one of the reasons that gap is like I don't fix it is because two of the wheels can turn and two of the wheels are straight. So I can't really like push it up against the wall. But yeah, the, the, the short answer is yes, a few things have fallen behind that gap before. And when that happens, actually it's probably happened maybe 10 times. Um, fortunately... I'm not going to just forget and not realize I need to pack that thing because it's going to show up on eBay awaiting shipment. So I'll know I have to, to get it. But normally I could just go down below and reach it and, uh, you know, shine a flashlight down there or whatever. But yeah, that does happen. It does happen. Uh, I'm, I'm usually, I'm usually pretty careful about like, I don't, I don't work here and have something behind it to where I could knock it off because I am kind of clumsy. Let's see. When you show the listing, it occasionally says refunded. Does this mean the sale was canceled? You No. Usually it won't. The only time that would happen is if I pull the order on a video and right after I shoot that clip or maybe the next day or something... Or maybe before I actually it goes out, they let me know they want to cancel, and then I cancel and void the label and stuff. But no, no, actually, I don't think you you wouldn't see the refund like that, or or it would just say canceled all together with the full refund. What you're normally seeing though is whenever someone buys more than one item. Uh, I will refund excess shipping. So that, that's what you're seeing in those cases. Uh, that's usually the only case that I refund anything. Christy Rose, 2289. That was Chris Wager, by the way. Uh, I don't think I said his name. Christy Rose, 2289. When y'all reorganize, do you go back to all the listings and change your custom SKU? Is there an easy way to do that? So here, here is the situation. We'll set up a little. Uh, we'll set up a little fake situation. Let's say I have all this stuff on six B, and I decide I want to put uh, nothing but spark plugs here. Okay, so I need to take all of these items off of this shelf and move them somewhere else. Now, normally I would, you know, doing something. We do do things like that occasionally. Normally. If I was going to do something like that, it would be really nice to have Candace here. But if I don't, this is how I would do it. I would go to my active listings and then I would go here and put in 6B and change this to custom SKU. I guess I got to change it now to 6B. And you see where it says it's equal to? Sometimes we put other stuff or there might be different cases, you know, like upper and lower case or whatever. So what we always like to do is put contains, and I have to do it one more time. It clears the damn field out every time. Contain 6B. All right, and then we hit search. And now we have, you can see we have 38 items on that shelf. 
for a total of 1272. So now what we would do at that point is we keep it on this view and you could do everything from here, which is handy. You go over to custom label skew right here. You click the little pencil, you punch in what the new location you're moving that item is to hit submit and you're done. And we've actually like, we've actually redone entire shelves like that with like 20 items or so, um, five to 10 minutes. It's super fast. All right, next question. Tim, how come 4041? eBay has recommended we do the top rated seller plus, meaning we would have to go free shipping and one day handling time. Is this the way you have your eBay set up? Okay, so that is actually not accurate. Um, to get top rated seller plus, which is where you get the little badge on your listing and your, um, your final value fees are discounted by 10% on those listings okay and to get that you have to a you have to be a top rated seller i'm gonna put the actual uh i'm doing this off the top of my head i'll put the actual qualifications for top rated seller plus listings uh here on the screen also but i'll do it from memory too uh you got to be a top rated seller first of all and which involves hitting a lot of different metrics and whatnot uh, you have to do one day handling or same day handling. You have to offer returns and those have to be free returns. So if you ship the item out, customer decides they don't want it for any reason at all. They open a return, they ship it back to you and you have to pay for that. You have to pay for the shipping and you have to take the return. Okay. Those are the, those are all the requirements that I can think of for top rated seller plus uh, one of the notice one of the requirements is not that you have to offer free shipping you can do paid shipping and still have top rated plus uh let's see next one linda peters 1912 uh, why are you leery about reselling nike shoes uh i'm not that leery about reselling used nike shoes i don't know nike shoes that much uh, but whenever I see, I think whenever I'm talking about being leery of selling Nike shoes, uh, I'm leery of buying uh, higher end Nike shoes, especially at garage, it, actually anywhere. Um, I go to a lot of garage sales where they're, they'll have like um, expensive look, looking Nike, like I said, I don't know the market, expensive looking Nike shoes in the boxes and they look all nice and everything. And maybe they're 20 bucks a pair or something. Uh, and maybe they're a great deal. But I've seen too many times where um, like I, I, watch, uh, I watch these, like eBay has a TikTok channel or one of their greater, their uh, authenticators has a TikTok channel where they go through shoes or whatever. And so many freaking fakes, man. There's so many fakes and I don't like dealing in things that uh, have a lot of fakes, like purses. We don't deal in like handbags and stuff either that much. Like when we see Coach and Gucci and, th and stuff like that, we just don't deal with those kinds of brands. And Nike is pretty close to one of those. We did buy a few the other day. However, we felt pretty comfortable with it. And they were used. And they aren't like super duper high value either. So... I don't know, just Nike's, Nike scare us a little bit. Plus we've seen a lot of stuff as far as like Vero takedowns and whatnot. Uh, they make us a little nervous. So when we get a little nervous about an item, item type or category or brand, we just steer clear. There's too much other stuff to buy out there. Um, big shit, big, I mean, I almost met, said that really wrong. Big city shops. I can't read the rest of it. There's some more there. Uh, have you have you used declutter for CDs, DVDs, video games? I have used declutter, and declutter is they don't pay much. And if you have a bunch of um, like music club, like BMG or Columbia House, where they don't have the same barcode as the normal releases, they don't take those. Uh, they don't take a lot of titles, so that's one thing to know. However, you can move a ton of media to them, 
they pay for the label, you ship it in, and they, they give you the money. Um, I've done it a few times whenever I've just wanted to clear media out and I didn't care anymore and I donated all the music club stuff and uh, sent the other stuff into them. They do pay. Um, I think there is a place for them. It's funny you ask that though because years ago I was going to do a video about how declutter works. Actually, I did the video. How declutter works and everything. I had like... I don't know. I think it was like 200 CDs. I bought it at a garage sale for $10. This was uh, four years ago. And I bought the CDs like a week or two before. And they were still in the box I bought them in. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a video about declutter. And I started kind of scanning and working on the video and whatnot. I come to one, one CD. Here's the video right here. It's got a bunch of... It's on the other channel. Uh... And I even put not clickbait. <laughs> this money right here, I opened up an Allison Krauss CD. Allison Krauss CD. When the camera was not running, I opened the CD up, and there's a wad of 20s stuck inside of the CD case. And I ran, I, I'm like, oh man, okay, I got to get the camera now. And I'm like, guys, I just opened up this CD, and this was inside of it. And I start counting the money out as $200. $200 inside of a friggin' Allison Krauss case. And um, every now and then I still get, like, I still, like, the, the views aren't as high as they used to be. It, it's got 204,000 views. Don't get as many views a day now uh, nearly as we used to. But every now and then I'll see, like, a little notification come in where somebody else is calling me a liar. Uh, but yeah, I, I have tried the declutter app and it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's not a bad thing to use to, um, like help you kind of like sort through a bunch of CDs to see if you have anything good because the scan on the app is pretty decent. If declutter tells you a CD is worth a couple of bucks, you may want to set that off to the side and, um, you know, like research it on eBay or another platform because if they're willing to pay a couple of bucks for it, it might be worth 30 bucks or 50 bucks or something like that. But typically you'll find most CDs and DVDs, they're going to pay you like 20, 25 cents, 35 cents, 80 cents is a good one, you know, stuff like that. So I'm not going to just recommend declutter, but I'd I would go try it out though if you're interested. It, it I don't think it's bad, but just know going in, they don't pay much. <laughs> uh, we do have some eBay orders to pull. How fast did I go? Look, 1029. That's pretty good. Good discipline. Uh, we do have eBay orders to pull today, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, we have some eBay orders to pull here on 8 Alpha. We sold some floor mats. I think they actually kind of meandered over this way a little bit. I will try and take a quick look at them. I, I was dumb. I should have... Uh, I put all the floor mats I listed in different places. But I should have... Uh, I should have put... Like, wrote something somewhere on them. I'll be able to kind of glance through the plastic and make sure it's the right ones, though. Uh, those are for a Honda Pilot. They sold for $28 plus shipping on top. Had a bunch of, um, I don't know, maybe 10 sets or something of floor mats. The best ones were for a King Ranch pickup. And they got like, that was well over $100. And I had some that were like more in the $80 range, $50 range, etc. And I think these might be some of the the cheaper ones here okay on 5a yes i did use one of these boxes to store them <laughs> i've had i have so many priority boxes left and i'm not using them very fast so i use this to store them uh these are I'm not going to ship in that box obviously those are 17 errata the legend uh manga manga books that sold for $60 or $59.99 plus shipping on top. I will use that box again though. 
All right, I just pulled these stickers out of the sticker box, and these are these Royal Purple Raceway stickers. Uh, these, I took an offer on these. I think we had them at like 12 or 10. No, we had these at $9.99 and took an offer for $8 plus ship. All right, on 10 Delta. Oh, man, I remember I actually wasn't planning on this selling this fast. I kind of stuck it back here. I'll fish it out of here. This is a telephone. Come on, come out of there, baby. There we go. I wrapped it up because I, I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to get scuffed or anything. Uh, bought this phone at a garage sale for ten dollars. Yeah, ten dollars, I think. I listed it just yesterday for eighty bucks. Yeah, seventy nine ninety nine plus ship. And then just one more thing that needs to go out right now to Charlie. We sold, I gotta get back here. I got step stool in my way and a light kit and boxes. Kind of other junk back here. Let's see. Look, you see there's some more floor mats. They haven't all sold yet. All right, this is what I'm going for. This guy right here. Man, I wonder why these boots haven't sold. These are decent looking boots. Oh, our price might be too high or something. All right, two hands, two hands. There, I'm good now. Uh, we sold this Mike the Tiger. That's the LSU mascot. Um, I don't. I don't remember where, where, how much we paid for that. Five to ten dollars, probably. Uh, this is from 2003 National Championship. It's Mike holding the crystal, crystal trophy, football trophy thing. Sold that for, took an offer for $75 plus shipping on top. Very, very happy to sell this because it's been sitting on the shelf for a pretty good while. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get this stuff packed. We we do, we did have a couple of like really good sales this morning already uh, that I might be pulling later on today. We'll see. Okay, hey, packages are gone. Actually, I just heard the carrier picking them up. Uh, so that's awesome. And... I'm listing now, so far I've done six listings and what I'm trying to do, the first part of my listing day here is, as y'all know, we have a ton of comic stuff to list. However, I want to be careful listing nothing but comics. Uh, I think that would be a poor choice because a lot of the comic stuff can be longer tail um, and I don't want to list nothing but that. So I have started by listing, we had these uh, vintage Munsters plush dolls. We had some uh, golf bag tags, some hard rock cafe stuff. We had a belt buckle. I just listed these cross pens, random three cross pens we had. And I think I'm going to do a few more things trying to just kind of pull from over here because we still have you know we have piles of stuff and whatnot here um so i think i'm gonna do probably uh have some view master reels that i can lot up that should make a nice little lot and then we have uh we have some other random stuff i'm gonna pick through it try and decide what i'm gonna list um Maybe one or two more non-comic things, and then I'll get on the comics. We did sell a, one of the uh, Star Wars things I listed yesterday. So that was one of these guys. So that was very uh, motivating for me. Because I listed, I think I only listed 23. I only had 23 of this type, and that's all. Uh, so I have some... We have a bunch more though of that, like a lot. But then I also have some more similar stuff like that. Uh, Hulk and I think Black Hole or something. What is the other? I mean, I have a ton of the Hulk. The thing is, okay, just a bunch of different random stuff in here. The thing is, I'm, I don't. I'm going to have to look back because I think we may have auctioned some of that. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure if I want to sell the Star Wars. I think I can get away with selling singles. Hulk, 
unless I'm willing to sell them cheap, I don't think I can sell singles. And I don't want to do that. So I got to, I got to kind of feel it out and see if maybe I want to sell maybe five at a time, you know, maybe three, four or five at a time for the same money I'm doing the singles for Star Wars. That's kind of, kind of what I'm thinking about doing, which would still just be incredible money for the amount of space and time it takes up. So I'm, I'm, I've got that kind of in the back of my mind. But for now, I'm gonna keep on listing a few non-comic things. Uh, but I definitely want to, maybe I'll even list a couple of cookbooks, I don't know. I probably will, I will go ahead and list a few cookbooks because I think we have some listable cookbooks up here. So that's what I'm up to. Just trying to make my listing number. Okay, got my Viewmaster stuff listed, and uh, yeah, moving right along. I've got seven non-comic listings. I'll do one more. Uh, we had a stack of catalogs we got from somewhere. Uh, super cheap. They were sitting right here, and um, honestly, like, four of them were pretty much worthless. This one's probably worth about $20 or so. This is a, uh, I want to hold that page because I thought it was kind of interesting. This is a J.C. Penney Christmas catalog, and I think that's that's what you want to get gun for when it comes to these kind of department store catalogs or the wish books. Because I think I think people are looking for the toys more than anything. Uh, Sears wish books. This is worth I I think twenty to thirty dollars, something like that. I'll probably do it on the low end to get it moved. But check this out, y'all. This is cool. They uh, I wish you could still buy this, right? You could buy a Super Nintendo for $130. This is 1994. $130 for the SNES. And look at these games. I forgot how expensive these freaking games were. Tetris 2, $50. $40 for NHL, NHL 94. Super Metroid, $60. These games were freaking expensive, man. Of course, some I guess some of the older titles weren't like uh, well no M look NBA Jam sixty bucks, wow, y'all know how much money that like that's that's thirty years ago that they were getting fifty sixty bucks for and games cost I guess about the same, so games probably cost that's like coming up with a hundred dollars probably or maybe more back then so anyway i'm gonna get this listed and then i'm gonna start on comic stuff i think the rest of the day all right it's almost six o'clock now and uh i'm i'm forcing myself to finish this thing off i've got 18 listings done i've, I've had a i've had a good day as far as listing goes because i don't think i started listing comics till like right here so i feel like i got a good mix eBay sales have been very good today. Uh, by, I want to say by like three o'clock, we had sold 450 gross, which was the total we sold yesterday. And yesterday I consider to be fairly solid. Um, so if we can get a few more nice sales today, it ended up being a great day today. So uh, I want to show y'all this. Cause I'm putting together this, these are weird, man. Like these, I have a lot of like variant covers of books, of comic books. This is some book that Amelia Clark from, um, from, uh, geez, man, I watched that. I watched that freaking series. I love that series. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Her Amelia Cl Clark from Game of Thrones. She did some mother of madness. You see this, uh, comics and these are three variant covers for that and going through these books man i have like so many mad balls versus garbage pail kids these are all green blank green variant covers and then look here's white it's crazy look this comic white variant cover mighty morphin white i'm um, not white yellow look at this like these are animal, I don't even know what these books are, but I'm trying to put them together best I can. Look, that's just black. It's so weird. I don't know, like what is this? 
Now, whenever I do find them, there's not a, first of all, there's not a ton of these for sale on eBay. And when I do find them, they're not worth a ton of money. So like I have these three here. Now I was looking on, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, Terapeak. See, somebody sold um, the yellow one for three thirty nine dollars free ship, which that makes no sense. But then somebody sold a set of five colors for 30 Now, that was over a year ago. Um, I think I might list these for like $11.99 for the set of three. And they can all go into one Gemini comic mailer. Uh, honestly, the more I'm talking, the more I'm thinking, I'm just going to go ahead and knock off for today. I put together, like, I was kind of dragging, dragging butt a little bit, but, like, that's a lot, that's a lot, 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 lot. That's a lot. Several. There's a bunch of lots in here, and I just spent a lot of time on that stuff. But I did get some pretty good, uh, pretty good numbers, I think. Let me see how much I listed it at. Okay, yeah, I'm going to knock off. Um, I went ahead and added it up. I have 18 listings today for $544. That's great. Um, I went ahead and put it here and also updated the total. So we're looking for a total of 200 listings in two weeks. And we're currently at 76. I would say we're right. We're real close to being on track. I think we're about four short of being where we want to be, and that's including the zero for Monday. So that's good. Um, the other number we, where we want to be is one, two, three, four. We should be, as of today, at $2,000 in listings if we're going to hit 5K in two weeks. Now, that's assuming no listing on the weekends, and we might do listing on the weekends if we need to. But uh, yes, we should be at $2,000 so far, and we're actually at $2,040. So uh, we are on pace to hit our goal with, if this was, if this number was 80, we would be on pace. But we are definitely, we're in a good spot here. We're in a good spot. So I am going to sign off. I will see y'all again tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. It's the next day. Well, you're not welcoming. I welcome myself back. You were already here, weren't you? Uh, it is Friday. I'm not going to sing that stupid song, even though I'm kind of got it in my head right now. Um, it's Friday, and we're about to finish the first like uh, Monday through Friday week of Candace being gone, and. Um, I guess by the end of by the end of today we want to be at like twenty five hundred dollars. We're at twenty forty now, so I guess um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold myself to a hard goal there because we can catch up a little bit on uh, Saturday if we need to. But I'm gonna try to hit gonna try to hit five k and. Uh, Gonna try and get to 100 listings in 5K and not 5K, 2,500 in a dollar amount here today. But before we do that, we had a uh, we had a good sales day yesterday. It was a good solid day. We've got 12 uh, 12 orders going out. A couple of and it's like the normal kind of distribution that I love. A couple of big ticket items and you know then some medium stuff and then some small stuff like I, that's kind of how i like it actually so let's go ahead and get started let's go ahead and get that stuff pulled all right first up is on 10 alpha we sold a tomika thing and i guess it's this i don't think i have anything else tomika up there let me make sure this is the right thing tomika car dealership yep this guy sold for $99.99 plus shipping on top. And look how cool that is. That is pretty sweet. Actually, the Tomika stuff in general is kind of cool. Especially when you consider that it's almost like um, Lego meets Hot Wheels, right? Something like that. So, yeah, 100 bucks for that. And over here in Star Wars drawer, I named this drawer finally. Uh, we did sell one of our Star Wars prints. We're looking for number eight. 
this is the part where I'm like, yeah, I don't know. It'd be better to have this in some kind of thing I could like flip through, like a flip file type thing or something. But yeah, this is the one we sold right here. This guy sold for $25. And the way I'm going to ship that is with one of the uh, vinyl mailers, just because they're bigger. These are a little bit, um, like I could use one of my comic, I, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll have to look at it. So I have my Gemini comic mailers, and then I also have, I haven't even put them up anywhere yet. I've got this box under these other boxes. Uh, I got some, a bunch of uh, vinyl mailers from the boxery the other day who um i like using granger for boxes but boxery is also really good too granger i don't we actually looked y'all help me out here um we actually looked at granger i was unable to find vinyl mailers at granger so i just went ahead and bought bought the ones at boxery but if y'all know Maybe I was using the wrong search terms or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, anyway, this guy sold for $25. And on 2 Bravo, we actually sold some starting lineups. And uh, I did hold some back. I used to have like a ton of like super low value starting lineups. Bunch of not no-name players, but like... Just base the, ba the you know the standard baseball ones of all the minor stars in the 90s or whatever. People don't want that stuff too much, but these are kind of cool. I've got three different Dennis Rodmans who, um, one of the more underrated players of all time, I think. I think I think he contributed a lot more to the Bulls and the Pistons championships than people people are probably really want to admit. But uh, we have, look, we have blonde, orange, and green hair versions. And those sold for, scrolling up here, $34.99 plus shipping on top for those. All right, went ahead and got Dog E box down. I always kind of laugh at Dog E, Dog E, get it? Not very funny, huh? Okay, there are two of those left in there like they're supposed to be. This is a little velour type hoodie thing fleece that's the name for it fleece hoodie that sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top obviously that's for a dog and cc13 up here all right please ignore my misuse of this large mailing box after i sell all this stuff that's in the box in about 15 years um, I might use it if priority mails even exist at that point. <laughs> uh, let's see, 7162's NGKs, $7.99 plus shipping on top for those. And Smalls drawer. Sold this calculator right here. This is a uh, TI-83 Plus. These are not near as good as they used to be when I first started reselling. Uh, now people want the, what is it, 84 Silver edition, is that it? I can't, or the 80, it's the 83 plus, 86 plus, and the 84, I think, was are the good ones? I can't remember. I, I know the bad ones, 81, the 80, the 81, the 85, 89 is still okay. I'm trying, oh, the, there's also a 92 that's like really fancy, almost looks like a computer, I think. I try and keep those in the back of my head, but that guy sold for $17.99 plus shipping on top. I have to get another dog box down. Dog C13. And this is just getting better and better all the time. Dog C. See, look, we have three different bo dog boxes in this one box now. Let me go ahead and get this down. Look, this is the same way. One, two, three boxes. That one has two from the original inventory system. Okay, we sold this for $12. I think there's only one in there. Yeah, this is for a pretty good sized dog. That's the, that's the awesome thing about this dog clothing. Look how nice this vest is, look. Almost looks like it has a Hogwarts or a private school feel, feel to it, right? Um, 
that's the cool thing look how nice this is we were able to sell this we had it priced at $14.99 and somebody sent an offer for uh $12 or maybe I countered at 12 or something and they bought it and that's the cool thing about the price we bought this stuff at we're able to sell something that nice what I think is pretty nice anyways for twelve dollars customer gets a good deal we bought everything for a dollar a piece so we're we're still making good money everybody's happy I, I really like this dog clothing going to the razor drawer now R10 one of the last ones left this little guy right here it's another gem razor this sold for twelve dollars plus shipping on top took an offer on that too and we sold some uh like old pantyhose not old they're actually new old stock i guess two delta e two delta echo Let's out of this box man we've done actually really well on this stuff because we paid like not much at all and I think this is like the third or fourth time I'm pulling from here. And a couple of those times, I think we're like $20 pulls or something. So we have done really awesome. Uh, this sold for $11.69 plus ship. And going all the way back. Right in front of this air conditioner that is not running right now. Uh, the weather has been really nice here. Like it's been getting down 50s, low 60s at night. And air conditioners have not been running at all hardly like usually like like right now um it, it feels great in here probably around noon to five i'll turn the air conditioner on it won't run much though mostly to keep it from feeling stuffy but yeah this is one of those um can cooler things with a koozie it is uh zelda if you can tell from the pattern that sold for $13.49 plus shipping on top we paid a dollar a piece for those and one more smaller thing we have a larger thing we're going to pull in a little bit but we sold a and you see you know what i think i'm over here looking for a monster high and i remember candace it's this one i remember the other day she did the same thing she put them all on nine delta instead of eight delta but this is the one i was looking for this is a uh monster high with roller skates operetta that's her name she sold for 13 dollars plus shipping on top and that is all the smalls right there that's a pretty good amount of shelf clearing right i'm gonna go ahead and get this packed and we have one more thing okay got all that stuff packed that we just pulled the stuff right here and this fairly common day, I guess, uh, as far as like bubble mailers, poly mailers, brown boxes, and then one priority box. Uh, that is the Tomika thing. It's actually going to Louisiana. So it was only like $7.20 to ship that. And yes, that is, um, it ended up being exactly one cubic foot. <laughs> it was 16 by 12 by 9 which ends up being uh, 1,728 cubic inches, which is a cubic foot, exactly. Uh, we did get, while we were packing, we did get a couple more orders, which I'm gonna go ahead and pull now. We'll go ahead and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and clear the deck today. CC6, I think that's over here. Yeah, okay, I didn't realize I had spark plugs over here. I hope it's these. uh six champion that's a good sign oh yep this it's these these guys sold for 12.99 plus shipping and then right after that sold we sold a book one of these um graphic novels we sold volume three of hack slash for 17.99 plus shipping on top and we have just one more thing to pull. We got all that stuff out and ready for the carrier. Last thing is this guy. And I don't know, I'm not exactly sure why I wrapped it in paper. I guess, I don't know why I've, I, that doesn't make any sense to me now. But uh, yeah, we sold, this is a Seiko 
Um, really cool Seiko clock. It plays Beatles songs and Christmas songs. Interesting mix there. Uh, we picked this up. I think, no, we paid $20 because I remember the lady wanted 30. Candace got, ended up getting it for 20 and uh, we sold it for 150. Well, I don't do unboxings too often, but I am going to make a um, an exception for this box. This is a goodie box. This is from Joel over at American Bubble Boy. Awesome guy, awesome company. Uh, link down below. That's where we buy all of our bubble wrap and our tape. They've been out of the three inch. Hopefully, they have the three. I don't I have a check lately. It might be in stock again. I'm not sure. Uh, Lonnie, thank you for being part of our journey. Enjoy some of our newest products and something a bit off the beaten path from upstate New York, Joel. So I'm excited. He's first of all, look, he's got, um, he used his, uh, they sell this product. I've never used it, but it's awesome. It's kind of pricey, but if you, there's some things that if you're packing them, uh, you can't beat it. Look at this. This is some of that, um, can't remember what you call this, but but you like activate it or something, and then it and then it fills every void. And I'll tell y'all, this has a bunch of different things in it, and it wasn't none of it was moving at all. It's completely stationary. So let's see what we got here. Oh, we, oh, here it is. That's what it's called, Instapack Quick RT. So, hmm, I'm gonna have to figure out something I can use this on. We put a few of these packs in here. To try out okay and look we got some bubble bling coffee 10 ounces of utica coffee that's pretty awesome candace and i are big coffee drinkers so we definitely will use that man this is awesome this is fun okay check this out oh boy ben and judy sugar house barrel aged bourbon Ben and Judy's in West Edmiston, New York. That looks like a little, uh, I don't know. I don't know how big that is. That's a nice, man, that is nice. I like some bourbon too. I may have that this weekend. Okay, and then we have some of these. Uh, are these little micro ice cube tray things? Is that for use with the bourbon? I don't know what that is. It's, it feels like it's made out of a silicone. So I'm not, I'm thinking that might be for like little tiny ice cubes. I don't know. And look, we got some My Go To tape, some of the uh, standard width, which I do use a little bit, uh, not much. So yeah, awesome. I, did, I haven't had any of their. Um, two inch. Well, they call it. Well, they don't call it two. They call it standard width because it's actually one dot eight eight, which is actually what all of the tapes that call themselves two inch are. <laughs> I think. Like, look. Let me see. I'll show y'all. This this is billed as two inch tape. This is another brand here, and you can see it's coming in at one and. What is that? One and, is that seven eighths? Yeah, one and seven eighths. And I imagine this is probably right around the same. Uh, actually, it's a little, like, we're talking like a 32nd. Is that what it, a 32nd wider than that stuff. And that stuff calls itself two inch. So, yeah, I'm excited. Look, I got, I got some booze. I got coffee. I got tape. I got Instapack. What else you need? So big, big thanks to Joel. Um, big thanks to Joel over at Bubble Boy. Appreciate you sending me the stuff, man. And again, link down below uh, if you need bubble wrap. Okay, quick, uh, quick correction of myself. And I thought it was weird that this. I was like, man, that is some thick, thick bourbon. How do you get your bourbon so thick? And I'm like, oh, wait a second. It says Sugar House, pure maple syrup products. There's no alcohol content label on here or anything. So this is actually syrup. This is probably like, I guess, maple syrup in here, All right, which is still cool. 
I like I like me some syrup. I, I was uh, I, honestly I kind of wanted some bourbon. <laughs> All right, I am in listing mode as y'all can see now, and uh, I think I'm gonna put make this a wrap on the video too. Thanks a bunch for watching, and I will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all.